Here are a few ways to work on Ekka Pada Kundinyasana. So the first way is to, from hands and knees, step uh, the, whichever foot you're working on, step the foot right outside of the hand. And we're gonna practice leaning the chest forward like chaturanga, bending the elbows and trying to lift the left foot away from the floor. And we can just do that several times. So getting used to the arm, pardon me, reverse that, getting used to the weight of the leg resting on the back of the upper arm, and also getting used to how far forward and down you wanna come with the chest. So once you have that going, then you could practice tucking the back toes under and see if you can get that back leg to lift up, even if for a nanosecond. <laughs> and then from there, maybe that length of time increases and increases and increases. Here's another way to start getting that back leg up off the floor. So, I'm gonna take a block. Once I'm set up with my front leg, my foot next to my hand, I'm gonna take a block. I'm gonna lift my back knee off the floor and then set a block underneath my thigh. So it's really in the fleshy part of the leg, try to avoid the knee here. And then I'm gonna lean so much forward that not only does my right foot lift off, lift off the floor, but then my back foot starts to lift off the floor because the block is acting like a, like a fulcrum for the weight of the leg to more easily lift up. One more thing to keep in mind is I've found if I'm looking straight down at the floor, there's almost no scenario in which I can make myself go far enough forward to lift up because the fear of going into the floor is there. <laughs> so I look towards the front leg foot so that I don't have to worry about seeing the floor in front of me. I hope that helps.